Hey everyone, welcome into Mountain Dog Companion. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about tips to avoid scammers. We're gonna talk about five different ways to avoid being scammed when you're looking for a puppy online. Okay guys, jumping right in, hanging out with some puppies today, uh, just taking it easy. Wanted to touch on this video, uh, or on this subject here uh, today. I always get the question, how do I know you're not a scammer? Um, and how do I know if someone's scamming me? So today I'm gonna be talking about five reasons um, how to know or things to know before moving forward and giving anyone if it's a com complete stranger or someone you feel like you know um, a deposit or money for a puppy uh, whether it's for transportation in their case or if it's for a deposit to hold the puppy uh, here's five things to know before moving forward so reason number number one um, is email or text communications oftentimes your scammers um, where people that really try and con other breeders um, tend to want to communicate completely by either social media messenger um, or they'll want to stick to email messaging or we're emailing um, they'll want to kind of stick away or stay away from phone calls um, and most times they don't really want to give up their phone number so and sometimes you'll see like uh, Google Voice like scam um, scammers tend to lean towards like Google Voice, like it's a third party app where you can have a different phone number, um, a different contact number compared to like what your actual phone is. You'll pretty much have an app, you'll log in and they'll give you a phone number uh, for that app. So uh, sometimes you'll see that and one way to know if that's the case, if you call them, um, you'll hear like before it starts ringing, you'll hear um, like a Google Voice um, I forget what it says, but it's basically like Google Voice telling you it's a Google Voice number. Uh, so it's not an actual uh, phone number, it's a generated phone number from an app. So uh, that's reason number one, it's super important to always have that phone conversation. Make sure you know the person you know, uh, they know what they're talking about. Uh, kind of ask maybe some challenging questions, uh, seeing what uh, the person's thoughts are on it. Uh, oftentimes your scammers will want to really and just get it done have a deposit over immediately um, that's the first steps before even talking about logistics or you know how everything is going to work out the whole process um, and that's that's one of the biggest things to really look for okay guys reason number two um, we're going to talk about pictures and what to look for so oftentimes um, you'll see like stock pictures or copycat pictures um, so you might see them on social media, um, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, um, and even sometimes TikTok, um, you might see it floating around there. So that's one thing to really look for. Oftentimes you'll see a picture that's been used by other breeders. So if you actually, like on Google, if you pop in that or paste that picture in, um, it'll pull up like results for that picture. So oftentimes you'll see multiple different pictures. Um, for like this person might be sending you pictures and it might actually be pulled off of a legit breeders website or you know from a puppy that's been adopted like a year ago um, we've actually had this happen to us we've had multiple people copy our social media pages and basically pull our content from our website and from um, our Instagram page and basically pull it over and use it for their content and then I've had people reach out because I always say my number um, in the videos and reach out to me directly and be like, hey, are you connected to um, so and so? Are you connected to this page? Uh, they say that you're affiliated with them and it's always kind of the same story. So oftentimes you'll see copycats. Uh, so basically keep a heads up for um, stock photos or copycat photos um, or even copycat videos from another um, social media pages um, content so that's reason number two so guys reason number three uh, talking about method of payment um, and what to look for so uh, most times you'll want to keep an eye out for gift card payments um, you'll want to keep an eye out for Zelle cash app uh, some of those apps where you can basically once you send the money there's no protection they can pretty much disappear off the map they can block your number they can pretty much rule you out completely um, and you can't really do anything about it. So like for us here, um, we use PayPal um, and we can also do a credit card payment over the phone if we need to and we can also do cash. So uh, those are kind of the three methods of payment that we typically accept. 
And the reason we do that is because PayPal offers protection for us and for the customer. Um, whether the customer feels like they're being scammed or the person uh, ends up being a complete no-show. Um, that's always a protection that we kind of have with PayPal. And you know, if you feel like you're getting scammed, you can always go to PayPal and be like, hey, um, not getting my product and I would like my money back and they'll pretty much always rule in your favor. So that's kind of reason number three, definitely something to look out for um, and keep an eye on. Okay guys, so reason number four, um, getting into uh, also a little bit, it kind of links in with your payments, um, but one is like a too good to be price. Um, that's reason number four, the price is too good to be true. Um, it's basically like you're getting a puppy, crazy quality, uh, good looking puppy, well socialized, and getting all the papers, and you're getting it for like 500 bucks. That's pretty crazy, um, but that's what tends to happen a lot of the time. So uh, these scammers are looking for a quick buck. Uh, they want to get quick turnaround. Um, so who's going to worry about 500 bucks? You're just going to, you know, take care of it, send it over if they ask for the full payment, and it's not even a problem. But most times, if your breeder's legit, um, most times the pricing is up over at least over a thousand. Most times for Bernice Mountain Dogs, depending on bloodlines and quality, you'll be looking at anywhere between 2,000 and 4,500 typically, uh, depending on what you're looking for. And if you're looking for all the papers and everything, uh, most times it's up there in that ballpark. So it really varies a little bit. Uh, but most times your puppies that are 500 bucks um, are end up being scams. I'm not saying that all of them are scams, but that's almost too good to be true for a phenomenal looking puppy with all the paperwork and everything checked out. Once you get into like your veterinarian paperwork and your um, fees and everything, that's just not going to cut it. You're literally not going to be, um, you're actually going to be losing money um, if you're looking at it from that side of things, if you're getting $500 for a puppy. Um, so that's way too good to be true and definitely something to keep an eye out for. Okay guys, the most important reason number five, last but not least, I would always recommend asking for a FaceTime call, um, whether you're sure that the breeder is legit or not, it's always a good thing to kind of get that in-person experience if you're not able to go out and meet the puppy in person. Uh, so I always recommend doing a FaceTime call. Let's say you give your breeder a call, you reach out and they're like, hey, um, yeah, we have a puppy available, so and so, here's pictures, here's videos, everything looks great. If you ask them for a FaceTime call and they decline it, that's an immediate red flag. You don't want to do that. Um, that's 100% something that should be available for any breeder anywhere, um, whether it's, you know, anywhere in the world, honestly, you should be able to do a FaceTime call. For us, that's something that I honestly prefer doing. Um, I like giving my families that kind of I guess it's more of a, um, a confidence booster as well, seeing the puppy in person. And it's also more of an in-person experience. You get to see the puppy interact with people. You get to see the puppy in different situations, just more um, on a live feed. So it's super interesting to be able to see that on a FaceTime call. You're super excited to see your puppy. You're super excited to have the puppy come to you and you really want to see this puppy. So if you're able to do a FaceTime call, um, that's always great. I feel like that's probably the most important thing to look for um, when you're trying to avoid scammers and trying to find a legit breeder uh, that knows what they're doing um, and definitely isn't trying to rip you off um, in any way shape or form okay guys that's it for today's video thanks for tuning in today um, if there's anything i missed let me know let me know in the comment section if you have been scammed and let me know how it happened uh, if you enjoyed today's video give us a thumbs up subscribe to the to the channel um, we're always looking forward uh, to seeing more people come in let me know if you have any questions from me here at mountain dog companion my name is jay miller here uh, my number is 330-234-0102. Thanks for tuning in today and we'll see you guys next time.